Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is Smokey Bear Saves the Forest. Streaking through the forest like a comet, a bright red cardinal searched frantically for Smokey. Smokey, he called. Where are you, Smokey? Smokey and the cubs returning from the morning hike heard the cardinal's excited cries. Over here, Mr. Redbird, Smokey called. Something wrong? Come quick, the cardinal cried. There's some, there's some, <clears throat> there's smoke on the antler hill. Humans camped there yesterday, said one of the cubs. Maybe you saw smoke from their campfire. The humans left last night, the red bird answers. Besides, only one thing can cause such so much smoke as I saw a forest fire. I've been afraid this might happen, Smokey said. Lately, the forest has been so dry that one spark could set it on fire, Mr. Redbird. Please call all the forest creatures to meet at Crystal Spring. We'll have to act fast. Smokey and the cubs raced toward Antler Hill. There they found that the cardinal had been right. Thick smoke, thick clouds of black smoke swirled above the treetops. A hot fire crackled through the grass and brushes. By now, the forest creatures had heard the red bird call. They hurried toward Crystal Spring. Mice scurried for their holes. Raccoons scampered down their trunks, tree trunks. Foxes darted out of their dens. Deer bound from, me from meadows. A long, a long line of moles, squirrels, rabbits, possums, beavers, raccoons, badgers, skunks, porcupines, and bears rushed for Crystal Spring. When all had gathered, Smokey and the cubs arrived from Antler Hill. Every second is important if we're to save our forest, Smokey told them. Follow me. Running, flying, and hopping, the crowd raced after Smokey and the cubs towards Antler Hill. Without a moment's pause, Smokey began showing each animal what needed to be done. Beavers, you can start twirling down the trees and brushes to form a wide path all the way around the fire, he shouted above the roaring flames. You deer and bears, roll the fallen trees out of the way. Smokey called the mice, mole, rabbits, badger, and foxes. You tunnel up fresh dirt to cover the path that the beavers build, he told them. Next, he sent the chipmunks, porcupines, and squirrels up nearby trees to trim off all the branches that grew out over the beaver's path. The birds, skunks, possums, and raccoons picked up br brush and twigs and carried them out of the way. By now, the fire blazed and hissed and crackled. Fiery sparks shot high into the air and trees burst into flames like matches. Thick smoke stung the animals' eyes and flame singed through their fur. They could scarcely hear above the roar. Dashing up and down the line, Smokey helped everyone. Don't give up, he told them. Only a little longer. 
only a little longer. The tired workers finished their jobs at last. Tall trees had been chopped down and rolled away. Bushes, grass, twigs, leaves, and limbs had been cleared off. A wide dirt path stretched in a large circle around the fire. Stand back, everyone, Smokey yelled above the noise. Without a second to spare, the animals raced across the path to stand behind Smokey. The fire blazed closer while the animals held their breath and backed away. Big hungry flames flickered towards them, but because dirt won't burn, the fire couldn't get across the path to where Smokey and his friend stood. When the last bush inside the circle burned away, the flames began to die. In another few minutes, the danger was over. The fire had not been able to escape from the circle that Smokey and the animals had built. Around it, it worked, the animals cheered. Give three cheers for Smokey, our forest is saved. The rabbits began singing a special song, which they made up. Hooray, let's cheer, hooray, let's shout. The forest fire is burning out. Hey, shouted one of the cubs. A drop of water just splashed on my nose. It's raining. As thunder rumbled and cool shower fell, soon the smoldering fire was completely out. Now the rest of the forest would be fresh and green again. It would be much harder for a new fire to start. Usually when it rains, the forest creatures run to their homes to keep dry, but not this time. Today they had saved their fine forest home. Animals could live it up. People could camp and have picnics there. The happy animals sang until there were, they were hoarse and danced in the rain until they were sopping wet. And no one from Smokey the Bear to the very tiniest mouse minded in the least. The end, boys and girls, of Smokey Saves the Forest. Boys and girls, I chose this book because my mom and I were talking and we were going over how much we love Motown and how much we love Smokey Robinson. It's one of her favorite singers. And she had this album and we were talking about it, having such a good time about memories that it brought back to us. And she said, why don't you do a book about Smokey or Motown or both? And I was like, you know what? Smokey the Bear was always one of my favorite because he was always saving the forest. He was the forest fireman and I absolutely loved him. So that's how this book was chosen today. I wanted to bring a little safety to you because it has been very dry outside and they have been warning on the television to be really, really careful because a fire can start very easily. And finally, we're supposed to be getting some rain. So I am very excited about that. You know I love rain. We've been over this. I absolutely love rain. So any reason to have rain is a good reason for me, especially if it's so dry that it's going to cause a fire, bring on the rain. So that's why I wanted to share this with you. Also, boys and girls, it gives me a chance to show off all of my microphones. We have this one. And then we have this one. We have a few of them. We use them for Dance Party Friday. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. And then we have these ones. Check it out. These are all of my microphones. Yep. We usually use them for Dance Party Friday, but I wanted to share them with you. You know, just to say, like, it's Friday, 
and we always had a dance party Friday when we were at school and I really truly missed this and I wanted to say to you guys make her microphone make it out of paper towel foil paper and something inside you know like sand or beads or something to make it shake up like this make a microphone simple and just have yourself a good old time at home with your family on a Friday the Friday before 4th of July it is Miss Reynolds with board better off reading every day and it has been my pleasure to bring this book to you about Smokey and forest fires and I hope if you have a chance you will have your parents give you a listen to Smokey Robinson because he has one of the best voices that has ever ever been across the scene and he does have lots of albums Motown albums just like you see here Motown the musical not sure if he was in the musical but definitely know you can find his albums so get out there and have yourself a good time with some Smokey Robinson and Smokey the Bear on Dance Party Friday bye bye